I'm hoping it will be effective. We live in the Goose Hollow neighborhood, and so we see uh, campers and we see open drug use all the time. Starting Sunday, a state law recriminalizing drug possession in small amounts will start to be reinforced. It's part of a House Bill 4002 passed earlier this year, rolls back parts of Measure 110. K2's Emily Gersh is live at the Central Library downtown, where county leaders have previously been focusing on this location as a hotbed for drug activity. Emily, you talked to drug users and people passing by the library today. Do they think this will work? Yeah, Deb, well, people who live and work in the area hope that this new law will cut down on drug use. But take a look at the scene behind me here. We spoke to some people using drugs outside of the library today, and they tell me curbing drug use is not as simple as putting people into detox or jail. My situation right now is after trying so many times, it's hard to have hope. Derek Sabin is houseless and addicted to fentanyl. On Wednesday, we found him outside the Multnomah County Central Library, an area known for open drug use. The county has previously installed lights to deter drug activity, and Portland police say they've made a dozen arrests for distribution here just in the last three months. What do you think it is about fentanyl that makes it so hard to get off of? Um, I think it's mostly just the strength of it. You know what I mean? It's everywhere and um, it's super cheap as well. And it's just a very hard drug to break. You know, opiates are no joke. Sabin says he's gotten into detox several times, but he says what happens after treatment is where he gets stuck again. Once you're out of there, it's just kind of like you're usually on your own from there. At that point, it comes dependent on like family or friends, and most of us don't have those resources or assets. Another person outside the library who says he goes by switch says he moved to Oregon from Indiana specifically because Measure 110 decriminalized drug possession. But House Bill 4002 will make it illegal again. I'm going to have to go back to being a criminal again. I don't want to do that. He says even if treatment is offered, he plans to keep using. I, I would be counting the days till I'll be released. But some living and working in the community think criminalizing hard drugs again was the right thing to do. You would hope so, that there would be some deterrent value from the threat of being arrested for it. Um, so we can only hope. But they say expanding access to treatment is key. As a recovering drug addict myself, I think it's important to uh, make every uh, uh, possible availability to uh, treatment. Now back out here live, a spokesperson for Portland Police says the Bureau will provide an update on how they plan to enforce the law. Hopefully by the end of this week, we plan to be there. We're live in downtown Portland tonight. Emily Gersh, K2 News. All right, Emily, thank you.